Okay. Hey everyone. Um, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Teresa, and I am a professional organizer. And I just want to show you something that I got in the mail. So I was sent this package, and I kind of started opening it. But um, it was sent to me by a company that wanted me to do an honest review on it. So let me show you what I got. Alright, so what this is, and there's two of them. Take this away so you can see it. Move my box here. And I'll get up close on these too. But what they are is um, vacuum storage bags. So I have this one. It's um, a vacuum storage bag that looks like it handles, um, this is a four cube bag and it looks like it's gonna be able to handle like blankets and things like that. This one here I am super, super excited about. This one looks like it can handle coats or larger hanging things. So I'm gonna get these up close for you, but I'm gonna go through the whole process of using these and seeing exactly what I think of them. So stay tuned, we'll see. So I wanted to give you guys a little close up on these products and they are by a company called Tally. And this right here is a vacuum storage bag. Uh, it says tool free, so you're not going to need like a vacuum cleaner or anything for this. And it looks like you just kind of squish on it. <laughs> the air comes out, see the air? The air comes out and it's supposed to reduce space by 80%. It's, uh, Airtight, waterproof, reusable. There are four cubes in here. It looks like you won't have issues with mildew, water, odors, insects, dirt, or dust. So that's the first one. It's also written in, I want to say that's German. Anyway, so there's the first one. This one looks like it's going to be more for like blankets. And then here's the second one, which I'm super excited about. Also a vacuum storage bag, Crystal Clear series. And this is for hanging items. And it looks like it's got five hanging rings, a stay on clip. That's kind of cool. Um, no tools needed. That's awesome. I also like how the air just kind of puffs out. So don't need my vacuum cleaner, which is good. And, but it looks like it does have a fit for um, a vacuum cleaner. I guess if you wanted to get more out, but you don't have to. Again, it's gonna reduce to 80% of the original size. There are also four bags in here, and there's like your before. So your before and your after. So I'm super excited to try this one as well. And then again, it's in, I want to say, it's German, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, so the first one I'm going to do is this coat one. And let me show you why I really wanna try this one first. So this right here is my coat tree, which is over by my front door, front door. The coat tree is right here. Well, I need to be putting coats away in the coat closet. Here's my coat closet, which is somewhat organized, but could really use a tidy up. And as you can see, a lot of these coats take up a lot of space. Also my vacuum cleaners in here and stuff like that. So maybe having a little bit more room and using those um, organizers, the storage things will help. So this is the intention that I'm going to use for that set of bags. I'm going to see if I can put them in here and get this organized. So I guess first thing I'm going to do is take everything out of this closet and all of that out of here too. Constantly 
position right. No, you do. So let me show you what I've got going on over here. These are my sons. These are my husband's. Of course, he always has more clothes than everyone else. He just does. To be fair though, some of these coats belong to my brother that passed away, so he has those. This is my daughter's pile, my pile. And these were some extra clothes that we had. These were like really, really old. Like, I mean, I don't even know what those are. I don't know. I don't even know why I have them, but I have those. Sorry. So, and then these are our purses. I'm just going to hang these back up on the coat tree. So I'm now going to sort through these and I will then pull out the packaging to get it set up. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. This is what I've got. So I've got these clips, the bags. One, two, three, and four. And then in the directions that I have, and I can post this too, but it's the how to use. So it says to pack your clothes into the vacuum bag, hold one side of the closing edge and firmly slide the clip along for several times. Press, fold it, and press it with a pillow. Please remember that the pillow don't cover the air valve. And then vacuum any remaining, I guess, vacuum any, va using any vacuum cleaner or hand pump from the tally vacuum or the, I can't even talk, sorry. Using any, Vacuum cleaner or hand pump from Tali vacuum the air out of the bag. Not to vacuum, best not to vacuum out completely to prevent the textiles getting wrinkled, but if you do need, just use a regular vacuum cleaner. Um, and then look, there's even some codes on there for you guys if you want to screenshot those. But uh, I'm gonna pull one out. That one bag that has like the old clothes in it, I'm going to fill that one up first. So here's my clip and my bag that I'm gonna use first. I'll be right back. Okay, so with my directions, it says to pack my clothes into the vacuum bag and do not overload it. So, I'm going to pack these in. Let me 
So, sorry I'm going so fast. This is not yet sealed up yet. I wanted to make sure that the whole thing would fit. Look at this pattern, is this not hilarious? Anyway, I just wanted to make sure that this whole thing would fit. I have all three hangers for this. This is what will be hanging on my rod. So, I have this in here, and then this is smoothed out, but this is a little tight here at the bottom just because the bag is shorter than the coat or the item that I was hanging in the bag. So, now I'm gonna grab one of these clips out of here and seal it up. Okay, I guess I'll put the clip in the middle. So it says to do this several times. I will say this clip is a little hard to push. Oh, I almost feel like I'd rather just feel it with my fingers first. Maybe I need to do that first. And make sure that the clothing is not getting stuck in the seam. So I'm doing this with my fingers first a couple times. And I can feel it kind of rocking. Now, maybe I can try the clip. Oh. Okay, now the clip goes on a little easier. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, so I'm now gonna flip this over to where this vent is. Can you see the vent? Yes, you can see the vent. So I'm going to flip this over and kind of push out to where the vent is. Push out over here. Come around. Grab a little in. It says to use a pillow. So I can hear that coming out and I see that it's going down. But what I think I'm going to do, even though you probably don't need to, and it says to use a pillow to like kind of lean on it, but I will say that this will working <laughs> pretty well too. Is uh I might grab my vacuum cleaner to get this part here. It says, hold and press with a pillow. Please remember that the pillow doesn't cover the valve. Let me grab a pillow. So they want me to hold it and press it with a pillow, but not cover the valve. So I guess we'll have to go this way. That's a little hard with the hangers. I'm not covering the valve, and you can hear it coming out. All right, I'm gonna go get my vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna take more out, but I'm gonna open this back up again. I will say it still looks pretty reduced, so that's good. I feel like I would like more out, so I'm gonna go grab my Dyson. Be right back. Okay, so I have my Dyson, and I'm gonna go ahead and see if that 
it's hooked on. This is what it looks like hanging up. So let's go take it to the closet. So yeah, I mean that has taken not very much space up, so that's good. It's flat. I do feel like they're more protected. These are um, things that were just hanging in my house. <laughs> I think they belong to my uh, father-in-law or something and he's been passed for years. But I've got that one hung up. Now I'm gonna go just separate them out and see what I can fit these in. I might have to purge a little, but we shall see how many can actually fit. All right? What we should do. I wonder if you think about me too. I can hear the raindrops falling. It's cold. So this is where I decided to add my husband's longer coat, but in fact that did not work because it's too long for the bag. I needed a longer bag. So I decided to skip that and go with a couple other shorter coats, which ended up working out. I do like using the Dyson, so I'm gonna go hang this one up too. Okay, let's take this out here. To the closet. I've already hung up these clothes. And, and, whoa, that's heavy. I can hold a lot of weight. Pardon my little straps here. But yeah, I put that over here with the first bag. I like that. I'm a fan so far. And then I hung these up. So what I guess I'll do is I have two more bags. I'll see what I can put in there and kind of put them on this side and then load the rest of the coats in this way. So I'll show you what it looks like when I finish. Alrighty, so here is the reveal of my closet and the use of those very cool Tally Space um, saving bags. So I ended up getting three bags used. I have a fourth bag still left. And this was the bag that had like the old stuff in it. This was my husband's bag for clothes he, or coats he doesn't wear very often. This is my bag. You can kind of see the fur in there. And then the longer coats are out here and the coats that we would wear a little bit more frequently, um, divvied up by who they belong to. Like there's my son's motorcycle jacket, so he's gonna wear that more frequently. Uh, didn't really touch the top. But yeah, I really do like those bags. So yeah, I think I would probably get them again. The one thing I wish they had was longer ones, but I'll do a little pop in and talk to you about the instructions here in just a second. But this is my reveal for my closet and I am pretty pleased. So once again, I just wanted to go through the product with you and I only did the vacuum 
bags for these the coats or like the hanging storage uh, bags and I will do a separate one on the other bags that I have been given but once again this is the vacuum storage bags this was the crystal clear series by and it's Tali Tali T-A-I-L-I good company I do like them um, I did like every um, bit of the instructions. It made a lot of sense to me. It really did reduce the amount of space. It was easy to figure out what to do. Um, you just pack the bag, put them in. You can push down or use the vacuum cleaner, which I ended up doing. I liked that better. It did help me kind of get everything a little bit organized. I do feel like the clothes are also safer. And then there were some extra tips in here and here is the information for them, and I will also link them below. But for this product, I was quite, quite satisfied. So you guys, get some of these. These are, these are pretty decent. The only thing I wish they had was um, longer bags because this, I didn't have something that could fit something that long. So maybe I need to see if they have longer bags. But aside from that, thumbs up, liked it, works for me. So really quick, I just wanted to show you what it looked like on my Amazon app to go to their store. So there that is. Also, I will have it linked in the description box below. So I hope you guys liked this video and I hope you got the information that you needed if you decided to get this product. Again, I'll have it linked. Please like and uh, comment if you need to and also please share this video. I'd really appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.